Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries reading. Today was a, an eventful day, interesting day, exhausting day, emotional day, all of the things were today. Um, I got another new life. I, just to tell you the tea on me and what's going on, um, I made my nail bleed, that's why I had to cut them all off. Um, so I'm starting back up Seven Sisters Hero, again, for the umpteen time. Um, Spirit won't let me rest about that channel. I'm be honest. I thought about just letting it go. And Spirit's like, no. Every time I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. Spirit's like, no, keep going. So um, the urge hit me today very hard to make content for that channel. And so tomorrow, fire signs will be posted. And the next day, we will do earth signs. I made sure I did them in advance. <laughs> so it'll be ready to go. So that's why I spent a lot of my time today. The light, the light that I use, I have one and I had a different one, um, literally sparked a fire. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a short, but the cord just caught on fire. And if you watch the Aries video, you'll see, I think you'll see the smoke come up. And I was like, okay, that's a lot of energy. <laughs> Always something dramatic happening during the Aries reading. But yeah, that was eventful and interesting. Um, a lot of things have been happening. So anyways, if you do not know, I have an all signs channel. It is in the description box and it's Seven Sisters Tarot. Okay, so you can watch your sun, moon, Venus and rising sign on that channel as well. The link is in the description box. You can go ahead and go follow. Those videos will be shown tomorrow morning. So let's see here what's going on for Aries. Holy Spirit, Spirit as an angels, please allow me to have a message here for the Aries Collective. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Thank you. All right, let's take a look here for Aries. Well, this is interesting. I'm trying to see if it was your video. I think it was. So this is, oh, Aries, this is a message. I just got the chills. And the way the card just flipped around in my hand, rewind it and watch it again, how that card just flipped. This is the same card that you got for the video I did for the other channel. So I'm going to go ahead and say, pay attention to this message. The same exact card, the same, it was the first card to come out. Oh, give me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. Got the snake card. Got the snake card. Um, my eyes are a little puffy. I was crying earlier. But um, anyways, snake card. Deception, shady, temptation, and enemy. This is the same exact card. I'm just saying, it wasn't Leo. It wasn't Sagittarius. I'm pretty sure it was Aries. The same exact card that came out first. The snake all right, now I need to know what really was going on. What is going on here? <clears throat> so let's pull from the Kipper. Wow. And then the way that it just flipped in my hand around so assertively. Yeah. What this has to do with Aries? So this is what's coming toward you here, Aries, or what you need to know. Same thing. Let's see here. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. All right. So you got family room in reverse. So this could be with a family situation or someone that you fell out with. Okay. It could be work situation as well with occupation. It could be like if it's a work thing that maybe like, you know, a unit, a family unit, some people that you were close with could be possibly. And that makes sense that the family room would come out in reverse because at the bottom of the deck, there's breakup. Walking away, ending separation. It's over. Let's pull from the tea leaf. Let's pull one here. Now I'm going to go back and watch and see which one it was. But it will be posted in the morning for you guys on the other channel. 
All right, let's see here. What do we have for Aries? Two cards came out. Three cards came out. All right. So this talks about your success. Excesses, successes in a situation. You got the star, great success, guaranteed success. The bell, announcement. And then the diamond, you will be receiving a gift. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. We'll see where that goes. Let's see where that goes. Um, let's pull from the chakra oracle. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Red. What do we have for Aries? Man, what does Aries need to know? What was that that was about to flip? Grief. Okay. Um, we know, spirit. All right. Joy. Pull us another one. Gossip. Let's pull one more. And trickery. Wisdom is at the bottom of the deck. So you got... Joy, gossip, and trickery. Well, that's right in line with snake energy. Okay, deception, shady, temptation, enemy. People are talking about this or will be, or somebody's gossiping about you. Could be about your happiness. Could be about the things that you're supposed to be receiving. Um, and trickery. Let's pull from the Island Time Moments. I can't hear my music in the background. I'm sorry. I still play music in the background for those of you who've been with me from the beginning, but it doesn't really pick up on the camera anymore. All right, let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? Butterfly fell right on top of gossip. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So people could be talking about your growth. People could be talking about you evolving. People could be talking about a new relationship that you're in. So take it how it resonates. All right. But it's something here. People are definitely talking about you, Aries. And it feels like people are talking about something that's good that happened to you or talking about you in a positive light or something that I want to say in a positive light or something positive that happened to you, but it's turning it more into a negative situation that didn't flip over. I just looked at it because it was on top. All right, let's see here. Abundance and passion. Um, okay, the boat energy here. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Uh, the passion says insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Holy Spirit, I guess, and angels. And so I mean, I come up switch here for the Aries collective. Like, some of this arising. Let's see what's happening here. What's happening here for Aries? Two of Swords. Okay, Two of Swords. There could be, um, sometimes this is a blockage type of card here for me. Somebody's blocking something out or blocking their heart space. But it also is about confusion, of being at a stalemate, making a decision, a needing to make a decision. I feel like somebody could be making something confusing. Tell us about the challenge here. The challenge here is the strength card. So to hold back or refrain from speaking on a situation um, or acting on a situation here. 
I mean, it's very difficult. You may have to hold back in a situation. And we have the devil here. So there could be some sort of trigger or temptation. What is advice from spirit? The six of pentacles. This talks about generosity, um, receiving what you put out. And I'm talking about blessings, prosperity, and abundance. You receiving what you deserve. Let's see here, what would happen in the outcome or in the near future? It just got really like cold when I started the reading, but I'm really noticing it. The outcome, Seven of Swords and the Hangman. There's that trickery energy, deceit, deception, somebody stealing something, the snake energy. Shady. Someone's gonna be stopped. Somebody is going to be stopped. The universe, the spirit, because the high, um, I'm going to say the high priestess, the hangman is a very spiritual card. Um, it sometimes is a card of enlightenment, right? You not moving forward until you see something. Sometimes it's a divine, I like to call it divine pause. Um, you feel like you're stuck, but it's really the universe that is putting you on pause until you see something or you recognize something. And in this combination of cards, that's what I'm getting. It's like, it's the divine, it's spirit, it's spirit, it's God putting something or someone on pause. Maybe their plans, maybe something that they were planning, but they're being stopped. And I feel like they're being stopped until something can be illuminated. Either you recognize something or you see something here from a different perspective. And it could have to do with this snake, this person who is very deceptive or trying to steal something or take something. And we definitely, it's a, a money situation. We got success here. We got the abundance card and the six of pentacles is what's advice from spirit. So you receiving what you've put out or receiving what you deserve reciprocity here also what i'm getting from this is as this being a position of um listening to spirit or the advice that spirit has for you the advice would also be to continue to do good deeds continue to stay high continue to um, stay above any type of deception, trickery, or low vibrational entities who is trying to trip you up, trick you, gossip about you, or, or you know, you know what Michelle Bobbin says, you know, they go low, you go high type of energy. So you will still be able to receive your blessings. So let's see about this. So is this a family situation? Somebody's trying to trick you, deceive you, tempt you into something here. Tell us about the two of swords. Ooh, five of pentacles. This talks about loss, financial loss, financial difficulties. This also, to me, could be draining of money. It could be somebody feeling left out in the cold abandoned, ghosted, but I'm getting the sense this five of pentacles is coming through about finances, money. Tell us about the strength card, which is in the challenge position. Tell us about the strength card in the challenge position. Oh, these cards are quite painful, Aries. Um, we have the strength card clarified by the three of swords. Very painful truth is going to be exposed. There could be more than one person involved. This could be a third party situation. We have Leo energy, we have air energy, and we have um, earth energy here. I feel like a message just came out like this. Let's keep going before I talk about that anymore. Let's see here about the Six of Pentacles, which is advice from Spirit. Tell us about the Six of Pentacles. The strength again. Spirit is really... Okay, so I have to say it now. Spirit is really telling you, Aries, 
Like we would say down here, hold your fire. Okay. And what that means is, you know, <laughs> keep the gun in the holster. Literally, you're going to have to use more inner strength than outer strength. And I feel like it's maybe because you see something or somebody is being very deceptive. Um, and deceptive in the worst way. They could be literally trying to steal from you money, take something from you. Uh, it could be about your reputation, lie on you. But this is definitely feels like money. I'm going to tell you that. Um, and Spirit's like, hold on. Hold on. Hold back, really. Because the hurt and pain that I'm seeing here and the financial loss that somebody is causing somebody, you know, it's like the type of energy you don't play with my money. You know what I'm saying? It's that type of energy. So, of course, you don't play about my money. You're going to want to go off. But you got the strength card twice. And strength is in the challenge and the advice. You're going to have to hold back. You're going to have to refrain from acting on your hurt emotions. And that may be very difficult depending on where you are in your spiritual walk. Okay. It may be very difficult, but you're going to have to refrain um, from acting because the six of pentacles talks about blessings. It talks about you getting what you deserve. It really does. Okay. Uh, God doesn't sleep. Nope. So whatever or whoever this is that is trying to block or hurt something here financially for you with the two of swords here, something's going to be stopped. And I'm saying it may get worse before it gets better. I'm seeing the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck where it might keep give you a lot of stress, anxiety, keep you up at night, maybe trying to figure out how to pay things, things like that. But you got the empress at the bottom of the deck, not too far away, where your abundance is there. I'm going to have to say this, and you, if you are in this situation, you probably don't want to hear this, but you probably need to keep a positive mindset. That's probably what's going to attract um, the outcome to come in quicker or uh, the resolution. Tell us about the hangman and the seven of swords. The seven of wands. Seven of wands. Clarify one more time here with the hangman. The seven of swords twice. Someone is going to be stopped. You got the seven of swords here twice. You don't, man, spirit is really trying to get a message through. You don't really see this like this. This card clarifying itself. I don't think I've ever had it clarify itself. So there's definitely somebody who's very dishonest, very deceitful, maybe talking about you. And I, I get the feeling that this is somebody talking about you. They're talking about you the whole time they know they did something dirty to you, okay? With this hangman here, this is a card of pause. No forward movement. Someone's going to be stopped, and so is the seven of wands. You standing your ground, maybe even needing to defend yourself if you have to. Um, but I wouldn't, take, I wouldn't take the offense. I feel like that's what Spirit is saying, not to take the offense, but be in a defense position, if you know what I'm saying, right? Let spirit handle the offense. You defend yourself if you need to, but hold your fire. You know what I'm saying? Don't approach the situation first. Let's clarify the three of swords and the strength and the challenge position. Two of wands. You have to make a decision here. And this decision here, I feel like it's like, tell me about the two of wands. Ace of Pentacles. You have okay. So this is saying here, you making this decision to hold back with this strength card here is going to allow the blessing to come in for you. It may be very difficult because the Three of Swords is here. It means that there may have been something very painful that happened to you, or is going to happen to you. And in, in a sense of, I feel like it's some sort of truth that you're going to discover. Heartbreak. Okay, that's what the Three of Swords is. It could be very heartbreaking. Maybe it's heartbreaking because of the person who's doing it or who it's coming from okay maybe it is a gossip or energy or something that was said behind your back to hurt you maybe it is this third party situation here too but the, the challenge here is for you the act the only thing that you really need to do which i feel like is the action is holding back with the strength card here and allowing this blessing or opportunity to come i don't say i feel like i want to say be rectified or fixed. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. 
Six of Pentacles again. Yeah, this is your blessing. This is your blessing. Now, I don't know if this has to do, sometimes the Six of Pentacles can be a merchant card, things that you sold, um, business type of energy, but this could definitely be the Four of Wands fell on top of the Six of Pentacles. This is definitely something that you deserve or that you're owed. Tell us about the Six of Pentacles and the strength and the advice for Aries. Yep. So you got the, the I was going to say two swords. <laughs> you got the High Priestess that flipped out. And what's flipped right here? The sun. It's going to, whatever is done in the dark is going to come to light. Secrets will be exposed and is going to end in a very positive way for you. Even at the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck is the success card. And then underneath that is the justice card. So I feel like this is going to end in a very, very pa positive and harmonious way for you. This may even be announced because you got this announcement card, this bell card, and this just, I just seen this. This may be like a big thing where, say for instance, this person tried to do you dirty behind the scenes. The outcome is, is going to, that it's going to be announced to everyone. Like they're going to be put on front street, street for what they did to you. They're going to be exposed where they tried to do something dirty to you behind the scenes. And guess what? Mm -mm. When it comes out, it's going to be out. It's going to be on front street. Okay. So if you're struggling with this situation right now, if you're fighting against this person, if it's some, anything like, even if it's a court situation with the justice card, let me tell you, spirit is really saying like, and, and uh, child Chelsea's been there before. That's why I can't, can't, can't even get my words. That is probably, and I'm speaking for myself, but I'm going to say maybe for an Aries, we're very action oriented people. We are very, we're going to handle it, you know, type of people. We're going to call you out type of people. So to refrain from speaking on something or saying something or being in the offense is a very difficult thing for an Aries to do. But it is a, when you learn how to do it, when you learn how to do it and you master it, that is a spiritual lesson, right? To literally let God handle it, right? God handles the source, whatever you want to call it, so much better than you can, okay? Sometimes it might take a little time but I'm telling you, what's being orchestrated behind the scenes is usually beautiful when it happens and then you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to lift a finger. You didn't have to get your hands dirty, so to speak, right? You didn't have to do anything, but just sit back and let it happen and let the exposure come out. It's really a rewarding feeling because you've exhibited, you've exhibited a different type of strength. If you give them say, maybe rewarding is not the best, but I think I said it would be rewarding for yourself. Just knowing that you had that discipline, that discipline to not speak on something or that discipline to not snap. That's difficult. It's difficult, especially if somebody is stealing from you or tricking you or deceiving you or intentionally trying to hurt you or slander you, whatever this is, it's a really nasty energy. So when you're able to sit back and let it ride and let spirit take care of it, it's a good feeling, all right? And I think that's what the message is here, Aries. I don't know who's trying to do you dirty, but it does feel like a dirty energy, okay? And it does feel like it has to do with money. It does feel like somebody could be taking some money or taking some position from you. And it could be somebody close to you, not just a lover. It could be like family, family or friend, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Take care.